adjacent loops of bow. The gas within the lumen interfaces the bow wall. This is visible on plain film. Bow wall has the same radiographic density as a menton and its interface with it is not visible on plain film. Therefore, in normal individuals, an interface is seen showing gas on one side and soft tissue on the other. In pneumoperitoneum, gas-filled loops of bowel are separated from the omentum and adjacent loops of bowel by free intra-abdominal gas. On plain film, this is represented by an interface on both sides of the bowel wall. This abdominal film gives us an example of Regler's sign. There is gas separating the omentum and adjacent loops of bowel. You can see here that both sides of the bowel wall are visible on this plain film. There is an interface between the gas in the lumen and the gas adjacent to the bowel wall. Note how the bowel wall also has a depth to it. This is not seen on normal abdominal film. In this image, you can also see the football sign. There is a big ovoid area of lucency, which resembles an American football. This is also a sign of free gas within the peritoneal cavity. In this erect chest x-ray, you can see the football sign here. Both sides of the diaphragm are seen here. This is also due to pneumoperitoneum. In summary, Rigler's sign is a sign of pneumoperitoneum. Both sides of the bowel wall are visible on abdominal film due to free gas in the peritoneal cavity, separating gas-filled loops of bowel from each other and from the omentum. You can also see this on a wrecked chest x-ray when examining the diaphragm.